Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Pawan, who has just been placed in Bosch with a package of seven LP. So good evening, Pawan. Welcome to Challenge Battle. Good evening, sir. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. So uh, th thanks to you, Pawan, uh, on making us proud by getting placed in such a big MNC and starting your career with Bosch. Thanks, sir. Okay. So, Pavan, uh, first of all, uh, I would like to congratulate you on behalf of whole team of Talent Battle on getting placed in such a big MNC. And uh, today you are with us to share your hiring experience. So, I would like to, to take your answers in a brief, okay? So that our audience, yes. those who are planning to get into Bosch, they must get a, a quick insight of what is all going to happen in the hiring experience. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So starting uh, with Pavan's hiring experience with Bosch. So uh, first question to you, Mr. Pavan is, uh, was it an on-campus or off-campus drive? Uh, sir, it was an on-campus drive, sir. Okay, so it was an on-campus drive. Okay, so Pavan, how did it all started? Like after the registration process, how many days it took to company to start with the first round of uh, like uh, the first round of the hiring process? So how did all it yeah. started? Sir, actually we completed our uh, 6M uh, by June. Uh, as soon as we completed our semester and exam, we got a uh, two months duration for uh, company specific training from college. But uh, before that, I had joined this uh, talent battle master class course uh, from uh, uh, February itself. I was a student from batch 11. Uh, okay. As I, wa I was being keep on learning from 6 to 8 since uh, February, the aptitude session was uh, just like an easy bit as I have been preparing for, uh, since months. Uh, once when I, when I entered uh, uh, this company specific session, uh, the company, uh, the college training which was giving uh, company specific capsules. So it was uh, coming to Bosch, it was uh, just a core company. So it mainly focused on uh, logic uh, aptitudes and the core question parts. So there was no requirement of coding in this uh, Bosch technical round. Okay. Uh, there were, uh, we were, we were being provided with two months of co company specific capsule. Okay, okay. So your college and, and talent battle both combined in your preparation journey to Bosch? Yeah, sir. Okay. So Pavan, starting with the first round, as you mentioned, like there was no, not any kind of coding uh, section or coding module in Bosch. So what was your first yes, round sir. of uh, like the hiring process? Yeah, sir. Uh, the first round was AMCAT uh, aptitude test, uh, which consists of six sections. First section was logical uh, aptitude questions. Uh, coming to second section, it was a uh, quantitative. And uh, third section was uh, comprehensive. And uh, next uh, remaining third, uh, three parts were uh, related to the core domain. As I was from electronics background, we had three sections re related to electronics questions. Okay. And each questions were, uh, uh, and each sections were consisting of uh, different uh, number of questions and different timing. Okay. So do you remember what was the timing and what was the number of questions in particular uh, uh, sir, uh, subsection? Yeah, sir. Uh, in quantitative question, uh, in quantitative section, we had uh, 90 minutes of time and uh, 15 questions. Uh, in coming to quantitative, we had uh, uh, around uh, uh, 10 questions with uh, 15 minutes time. And uh, okay. uh, 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 rest, uh, as of now, I don't remember exactly, sir. Okay, no issues. So, Pavan, talking on what were the important topics like that was mostly asked during your uh, quantitative section or the comprehensive section. So any topics or any direct questions you remember that was put on the uh, most? Uh, so the major topics which they covered was like uh, uh, the questions related to trains, speed, okay. distance, and uh, this clocks, uh, the timing, uh, the clocks questions, and uh, uh, this uh, what to ages, the problems on ages. Okay. And uh, LCM and HCF. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, this profit and loss percentages, all the questions, the, which were the main topics which were covered in the workshop sessions. Okay. So, uh, Pavan, what was the 
difficulty level of the test uh sir uh, coming to difficulty part it was moderate sir it was neither uh, too tough nor uh, too easy so were you able to complete the questions in the particular time slot uh yeah sir i was able to complete around 90 or 85 to 90 percent of the questions okay. within the given time okay and one more question pavan related to the drive only so like was yes. it an online drive or off like offline drive the company visited to your campus and then took the uh, examination no sir uh, it was an uh, online mode test okay so you were able to answer it remotely right yes yeah, sir okay and now coming to those section that were related to your core uh, like subject uh, related yes, to your sir. electronics branch so what were that yes. topics uh, any topics you remember mostly focused on uh, digital electronics part lic part and uh, analog communication part and uh, a bit of uh, uh, basic electronics okay any any like particular topics you remember or particular questions so it was like uh, uh, it was like scenario based questions uh, where uh, uh, they, they would give a situation like uh, if we pass uh, any triangular signals into some particular device what will be the output uh, generated from so and so particular devices after passing so many parts so it was like scenario based okay and uh, the difficulty level was moderate or it was changed in this section Uh, no sir it was high itself okay it, it was, was difficult okay yeah so how many questions were you able to answer correctly uh, sir uh, as this uh, round was uh, uh, free from negative uh, marks so i attempted all the questions okay and uh, most uh, more than 25 percentage of the questions were answered based on the guess itself okay okay yeah so moving ahead pavan after you completed your section 1 uh, like round 1 yeah. of the hiring process and then what was the second round and uh, how how much duration was there between round 1 and round 2 uh sir uh, there was a gap of uh, two days between the first round and second round sir uh, as soon as our college got uh, got the list of students who were uh, selected for the uh, second round uh we were made sure that uh, where uh, our technical interview sessions were uh, scheduled and uh, se- technical interview questions which were asked in the previous questions were uh, thoroughly uh, uh we studied them uh, thoroughly and uh, uh, once we entered uh, the second interview uh, it was uh, not based on the questions which we were prepared it was just uh, this just click on to the basics and the basics parts of coding that's it okay so any direct questions you remember uh, from which uh, from the interview part uh yeah sir uh, firstly uh, when uh, my technical interview session started they asked me about the introduction then uh, they asked me the mini project and uh, most of the questions were on the mini project itself and okay. uh, after completing many project session they asked me about the favorite uh, subjects then then i uh, said digital electronics so they asked me the uh, uh, true tables and uh, diagrams of some gates and uh, other uh, uh, devices okay and then uh, they asked me to write uh, some uh, logical implementation of particular uh, equations and uh, they are coming to next part they asked uh, one more subject which do you like so i was like uh, the next subject which were, i was knowing was microprocessor so okay. they asked the differences between microprocessor and microcontrollers uh, then uh, architecture of microcontroller then uh, they are asked a simple question like oh, what is the use of truth table and why it has to be designed this was the question which they asked and uh, at last they asked uh, an uh, aptitude question based on ages in the, the question was like uh, yes yeah, sir okay what was the uh, question uh, the question was like uh, the question was like uh, if your age is 20 and uh, if, uh, sorry sorry uh, it was not like that uh, 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 the com- the combination of my age and sister age is x and uh, 
uh, it was given like x and uh, they asked me to calculate my, my present age and sister's present age after uh, particular years okay so were you able to answer all the questions of the interviewer or you were lacking behind yeah. few of the questions no sir as it was uh, as they stick on to the basics i was able to answer all the questions sir. Okay. and it was mainly uh, based on the many project questions so my project was uh, re, uh, based on rf and antenna domain in which they asked uh, what was your uh, contribution and what was the main aim of your project okay so, so how long it... uh, yes yeah, uh, the the duration of this uh, interview was around 32 minutes that was the last round of the hiring yeah, sir. process yeah sir yeah uh, the exam was scheduled on the pre placement of day itself but okay. due to shortage of time uh, it has been postponed to next day so they concluded both the hr round and technical round in a single round itself okay any hr type of questions that they asked uh, sir like uh, they asked uh, like uh, would you be able to relocate and would you be will you be able to work in all the rotational basis working hours okay and the that's it sir and just like uh, uh, in which areas will you be comfortable like uh, coimbatore bangalore hyderabad okay so yes. pavan at last i want to ask you like what was the overall strategy or overall preparation plan that uh, helped you to reach at this level sir uh, when i joined this uh, talent battle i used to study from 6 to 8 pm okay uh, initially it was just like fun because uh, chancer was the uh, faculty who was handling aptitude session yeah so he was making the sessions uh, interesting by his uh, innovative methods to remember the formulas and uh, to solve the questions within uh, shortcuts so it was making me uh, to uh develop an interest to study more and more aptitude concepts so it kept on uh, for 3 uh, 3 to 4 months where i covered most uh, probably uh, 12 to 15 concepts which were important in the aptitude session so while cracking aptitude session i felt easy because of this master class training okay so i thank uh, talent battle team for uh, are teaching me all those shortcuts and the methods to solve the problems in a jiffy uh, thank you pavan uh, thanks to you for making us proud yes, so thank you pavan uh, at last one more question to you is uh, like when did you got your results uh, sir uh, uh, soon after the technical interview after five day uh, after four to five days we got the results okay so anything else you want to mention to your juniors or any advices those who are planning not your juniors your uh, fellow beings also like those who are preparing to enter into bosh so yes. any uh, advices sir, uh, at the time of registration to, for this company drive uh, we were uh, said like only full time employment will be given but okay. right now they have been providing internship to from this uh, 26th of this month okay so you are enrolling uh, so if you into want or... yes yeah, sir i am enrolling into it okay uh sir coming uh coming to this uh, advice to any of my fellow mates or my, uh friends i would say that uh, because the basics uh, in your core domain and uh, the branch in which you are uh, pursuing your degree and coming to aptitude part uh, just by covering most of the Uh, major topics 15 topics to 20 topics it will be more than enough to crack uh, an exam but in order to be 100% we need to learn all the things but uh, as a student we can cover only 10 to 12 topics uh, if we are thorough with them it's more than enough and just uh, be stick on to the basics this is what i want to say great 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 pavan so thank you for uh, sharing your valuable time with us and sharing your hiring experience so thanks once again from the whole team of talent battle for coming here today and enlightening our audience on what is all going to happen in bosch uh, when they sit for the hiring process 
and once again i want to uh, share to my audience those who are watching this video now like pavan is from 2023 batch only and uh, uh, he has been selected in boost technologies with the package of 7 lp so pavan thanks you once again for uh, sparing your time and coming here uh, at talent battle today so thank you pavan yes, have a nice thanks day. for the opportunities thank you sir